My name is Carlos Pinedo. I'm about to uh, demonstrate a mod, a mod chip I have designed for uh, the TK102 version 2 uh, GPS. Um, this happens to be one of the most popular um, mini GPS units because of um, its price and it actually has inside a real GPS antenna runs on a battery of course you can also plug it in don't mind this cable this is my modified version and um, they're very tiny they fit in the hand uh, the only problem these things have it has a bug that if it freezes if the chip freezes or if it loses connection for too long of a time or if it overheats it, it has to power off is that you have to manually go and push the power button to have it turn back on so if you put this on inside a car you would have to reach in there when you detect that uh, you can't see here but you'll detect that it has stopped transmitting info and physically turn it on and that is a, a problem and a very annoying setup so what I have done is I've created a microcontroller. Uh, this is the programming. And um, it's a small tiny chip. These are the pinouts, but you only need four pins. Smaller than a fingernail. Uh, there it is. And you install this mod chip into the unit. And it solves your problem. It does uh, error checking. It uh, runs on less than 0.1 microamps, so you won't even notice a failure in the power. And the way you install it is you pop this out. This is actually a, uh, a TK-102 version 2, one of the variations. And when you flip it, you'll notice I put my chip already here. Let's see if we can focus on that. Well... There's a the chip right there, as you can tell. And I used uh, what's called hacker wire. It's a very, very thin wire. And it's only four cables. And what this does is, it uh, it's a dog watch. And what it does, it checks, makes sure that there's power, and that it's operating. If it detects, after a length of time, the thing is not operating, or it's not transmitting, or it just turned itself off it will reactivate and uh, that way this thing is always running of course once you do that modification the only way you can turn it off is to take the power off of it but uh, these cables are silicone down uh, once they're soldered in and like I showed you the chip is really really tiny very tiny modification uh, down in the description below I will uh, put the price I believe as of right now until I can find the chips at a better price uh, programmed and ready for use on the version 2 of the TK 102 would be $14 each or for $25 you can send me your unit I'll install it and ship it back uh, the only one problem with installing the chip is uh, you will lose the warranty on the device because the seal has to be broken to get into it. But I've ran a lot of tests and the thing works flawlessly. It barely uses any power. It has its oscillators all built in. The registers are all built in. Everything's built in. And it uses, uh, it has a regulator in there so we don't have to worry about the voltages. It will run on very light voltage and since this unit has a battery uh, checker even if it cuts the battery out once the battery comes in uh, starts operating it will uh, kick it back in so you will never have to worry of this thing being off longer than 30 minutes um, but usually within 10 minutes of it being off it's back on and running and on a good status. Uh, the software I wrote for it uh, does multiple checks 
multiple error checks and make sure that it's not just an error because you're out of range and make sure that's not a power error so it will never turn the unit off if it's off plus it has power saving mode that um, even though at idle it's 0.1 microamps not milliamps microamps at the most it will be 150 microamps usage when it's processing really hard the, the uh, error check to make sure that the unit is actually powered down and that's it all questions um, uh, please write in the comment I'll try to answer as many questions as I can don't mind this wire here this is not normal that's just something that I did uh, modification because this is the test unit I use uh, to do all my testing and and all my mods but as you can tell that's where I put the chip and I put it there also because of the spacing see it's thinner than the uh, actual GPS antenna and there you go that way it fits perfectly right there and thank you for watching any question uh, please uh, put it down below and I'll answer the best I can and this is one of the best GPS units that I have tested that's micro in this version of course there are some that you can put in the car that are made and designed for cars but they're very expensive and this one's incredibly affordable it's just that one bug that makes it really hard for good commercial use and the bug's been repaired uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon